Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about the message of the day on your Minecraft server. That's what actually this is. The thing that's on your Minecraft server list page and how you can change that. Now as you can see, Breakdown Craft is a pretty cool one here, promoting survival skyblock. Hypixel has a pretty cool one as well, promoting their skyblock server. Cubecraft has epic new minerware update. All that stuff. All these network servers, Breakdown Craft to Hypixel, we all have custom, colorful, awesome looking message of the days. However, when you start a Minecraft server, you literally get this. It says a Minecraft server. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change that without any plugins, without any anything for a vanilla Minecraft server. Then I'm going to change, show you how to do some more custom stuff. For example, these like crazy squiggly lines that Cubecraft has, for example. I'm going to be showing you how to do stuff like that using a plugin for your server as well. So you're going to have both options. If you're running a vanilla server, this video is going to help you out. And if you are running plugins in your server, you want something more custom, you can do that as well. First and most, though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xy slash Apex to start your very own DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to make it super easy to install plugins and do pretty much everything. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and change this real fast. So as you can see, it says a Minecraft server here. How do you change this on a vanilla server? Well, you're going to go ahead and open up your server folder here, but this is where all of your stuff is, specifically your world, nether, all that stuff, all of these files will be in here. When you're in here, you want to go ahead and open up your server.properties file. For me, this is going to open up in notepad. You may have to select it to open in notepad. And then what you want to do is go ahead and scroll down until you find MOTD, which stands for message of the day. So right there it is, MOTD equals, and it says a Minecraft server. You can change this to say whatever you want. Now, if we go ahead and change it to, let's say, our test server, we will have to then save it and restart the server, right? So we're going to have to stop the server and then start it back up. But the problem is it's not going to be colorful. It's still going to be very, very boring, actually. It's just going to say our test server and that's that, right? So if we come back over here, it's not going to, it's going to show this here for a second. Once the server started up, I'll refresh it and it will change and it's still going to be boring. It's still going to be gray like this. It's, it's not going to look good whatsoever. So yeah. How do we fix that? How do we make it actually go from our test server to looking at least somewhat cool like these do? Well, in that case, we want to go ahead and use color codes, but not the color codes that you're used to in Minecraft. We're going to be using a custom set of color codes that are linked in the description down below. Now, if we go to this page and scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll see message of the day, MOTD Minecraft color codes. These are the ones you're going to use in the message of the day, and this is like the only place that you use them. So if we want to go ahead and make this colorful, we'll pull this up and we're just going to do some copying and pasting. We're going to use dark green and then we're going to go ahead, oh, wrong button. We're going to go ahead, pull up notepad and we're going to make our test server lime or dark green and then we're going to go ahead and bold it as well with this one now you will notice one thing only one letter changes on all of these so for example they are all the exact same except for that last letter for example the green is the two and then the bold has the l at the end right so we go ahead and we add those in there and then we'll go ahead and make this one like server, we're going to go ahead and make that gold with italics. So you're going to change this to six and this to O. Now we want to go ahead and save our server properties file. And if we stop our server and start it right back on up, right like so, boom, we will then be able to refresh and it will have changed in Minecraft to have those colors. But it's still kind of boring. You can't do this crazy squiggly stuff with vanilla Minecraft. You can't make these change randomly as the day goes on. All you can do is kind of make them, well, relatively simply. As you can see, it is green, it is bold, and this one is italics and gold. But overall, it's not too special, right? It's still cool, but it's not crazy. How do you make it crazy? Well, we're going to show you how using a plugin called mini MOTD. This is linked in the description down below. And as you can see, it allows you to add in all of this cool stuff, including gradients, including little like icons and different stuff like that. It's really, really cool and something that a lot of servers use or a plugin like it to create custom message of the days. So we're just going to go ahead and download this. Now, one thing I will say is that this is based on a mod called Mini Message, and it also does support Bungie Cord. We do have in the description down below this. This is the formatting that you'll need to use for this. The colors aren't the default Minecraft colors. You're going to have to use color names, but the thing is you can actually use specific RGB colors with this, and no other plugin I've seen has ever done that. So it's really, really cool, and the formatting is linked down below because it is a bit different. I'm not going to be going in-depth with this today. I'm just going to show you how to install this mod and give you a little bit of an overview. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and stop our server. We do have a paper server here. 
So what that means is we can install plugins. If you don't have a paper server, you still have a vanilla server, this won't work for you. You need a paper server, and we do have how to start a paper server linked in the description down below. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, I didn't save the file, did I? No, I did not. Let's go ahead and keep the file on the bottom left, and now we can go ahead and drag and drop this into our plugins folder, right like so. Now we go ahead and start up our server, run.bat. We're gonna go ahead and have a plugin file generated here for mini MOTD. So go ahead, wait for it, wait for it. It's starting, it's starting, it's taking forever. As always, when you first start up a server, for some reason it takes forever when I'm doing a video, but it always does it instantly when I'm not making a video. There it is, MOT, mini MOTD. So we open this up and we've got two .conf files, C-O-N-F, right? I don't know why it uses these top files, it's how the plugin's made, but it is a bit different than other plugins. Now, one thing you don't always check is make sure the plugin is working. We do slash PL, we can see mini MOTD is working. And actually, if we come back over here and refresh, it changes, right? So that means it's also working, right? It has added in these gradients as well, and that's really, really cool. It's the only plugin I've seen that does that, but it actually allows you to change your server icon and different things like that randomly as well. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and open this up. We are going to open it with my favorite text editor known as Atom, but I do actually have to like select that. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. There we go, Atom is selected. We can go ahead and click OK. It's now gonna open up .conf files in Atom every time. And once Atom is open, we'll be able to start editing this, right? So let's go ahead and wait, there we go. So as you can see, here are all the settings. Now, do you want the icon set by mini MOTD or not? You can turn that on or turn it off. How you set the icon is actually outlined, of course, in their wiki which is really, really cool. Now, I actually, um, fortunately, don't have the wiki available right now. Uh, you have to come here and click on it, but we will add this link to the description down below. Let me actually do that real fast. There we go. That link that will take you here is now in the description. And this kind of goes over everything more in depth. And as you can see, assigning specific server icons for MOTD. So what you want to do is go ahead and create an icons folder in the MOT, mini MOTD folder. So we go here, we're in the mini MOTD folder, and we can go ahead and select a new, and then we're going to do folder. And then you want to name this icons. Right, like so, I believe it's uppercase. No, it's lowercase, excuse me. You wanna create an icons folder exactly like this one, icons. And now you can add in different icons in here and set those with the you know specifics right like so, right? I'm not gonna be going over all that in this video, but it is something cool that you can do if you want to as well that not a lot of servers have. However, let's go ahead and look at this config file. So we wanna go ahead and change this. We can actually make it say MEMOTD default, and then it's got the gradients there. If we move on to this one, we can see the icon is random on this one. Icon's random on that one as well, by the way. And um, yeah, basically it kind of goes through all the different ones here. You can also change player count settings if you want to add in fake players. Don't do that. There's no reason you should, and it's just kind of wrong, if you will. But nevertheless, you can go ahead and change that if you want. Now, one thing I do want to say is when you're changing the message of the day here, it is important to understand the different lines. There are only so much you can fit on one line, and if you go over, it just cuts it off. So it does define line one and line two. You can only have ever, ever two lines, but it is going to cut off after a while. So let's go ahead and just change this really fast. We're going to keep this as rainbow, but we're going to change this to breakdown craft right like so. Um, if we go over here to our formatting, right, which is linked in the description down below, you can actually see how to do things like bold and stuff like that. So if we come down here, we can see if we add in bold right like so, it should go ahead and bold. So we come in here and do rainbow, and then we do bold right like that. It will bold a breakdown craft and make it rainbow. And then we'll go ahead and say the best Minecraft server in the universe, right? And we're going to go ahead and we'll make a gradient red to blue, just like this. Or actually do radiant green to red because we want it to be extra ugly. <laughs> green to red. And uh, make the universe say that. And then we'll go ahead and put this in italics as well, which I believe we can do if we do that italics. Um, that might not work exactly. I'm just kind of guessing on that one. This is a little complicated with the formatting, but basically once you kind of get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So don't let this overwhelm you. Now, if we save that, I'm actually going to delete this second MOTD. We're just going to have one for now. Save that. And what's great is if we come over here to our CMD, we can actually type mini MOTD reload and it will reload this without us having to restart our server. So now it's that. If we refresh, it's now Breakdown Craft, the best Minecraft server in the italics. So that shows me that italics is not correct there. Um, we can actually change that to underlined. Um, underlined, there we go. <clears throat> and then go ahead and reload that again. And now if we refresh that, it looks a lot better and it's underlined and all that stuff. You can change this to however you want. If you wanted Breakdown Craft to be blue, that is our color after all. We could actually change that from rainbow to blue. 
reload it, and there you have it. You are now blue, right like so. Um, there's all sorts of different colors that you can use here, and I believe they are all outlined uh, somewhere. The cool thing, though, is that you can actually use color codes if you want. So we wanted to go ahead and do color colon, right? We can use a color code. So if we come over here and do color colon, and then we can add in a color code, and we'll just make this, um, I don't know, 333333, save that, and then come over here and reload it, right like so, and refresh, that's going to make that a nice gray, because that's what 33333 is. We wanna make that to white, we can do that with F -F 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 -F. save it, reload it, and come back over here, and now it's going to be F -F 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 -F, which is pure white. No other plugin, by the way, allows you to do this. You want to make it like something else? We could do a a a a a a right like so, which is going to, I believe, be a green. Um, it's been a while since I've used that one. No, that's going to be a gray, it looks like. But there's all sorts of different setups that you can use with this, and it's absolutely incredible. It, it really is the only plugin out there that allows you to do that and get your perfect color, for example, matching Breakdown Craft to the color of our actual logo. So there you have it. That's how you can do that. That's how you can set up a message of the day with a bit more complexity. And we do have in the description down below the formatting, which is linked here as well as the specific setup for this plugin, Mini MOTD. That config is linked in the description down below as well. But there you have it. That's how you can set up and change the message on the Minecraft server list. Your message of the day, in other words. You can also do player count changes. As you can see, it does say 69 there. I'm going to go ahead and change that. We can. We can come down here and change the max players to, for example, I believe you can even do, like, for example, um, Hypixel, right, has... Uh, oh, no, they don't need more. They used to have an X, I think. I think you can actually come down here and change this to... Uh, X. Bam. Or actually, max players enabled. We can change that to true. Maybe not. No, let's go ahead and just change this to equals X. See what happens, because I believe we reload that. Nope, that, that, th that threw an error. That threw an error, so you can't do that. But we could make this like one million, right? Like so, and then reload it. Then come over here, and boom, out of a million players, right? Like so, right? So that's pretty cool. That's how you can do that. And so you can set that up and make all those changes that you want. It's really, really cool, really, really fun, and something that all servers should really do. But if you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy Mini MOTD. This is a really cool plugin that, um, you know, doesn't have a lot of, you know, support, really. I mean, it's, it's got a decent amount, right? 5,200 5, downloads, but it's up to date. Its last update was today, the day that I'm recording this video, and it's just a cool plugin. So go check it out in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.